personally. I, I don't like what he did to Rihanna. I know that his life was in danger after that happening. Um, but it's not up to me to go, go and retaliate against somebody I don't know. That's how wars are started, people. Well, you go, you're armed by the institutions, you're convinced by the institutions that these people hate you, and then you go out shooting people you don't even know. Yeah, well, you know what the thing about it is. Let's let, let, let's let's back up, track, back track with the Chris Brown thing. And, and let me tell y'all something too. You know, and that's that's another thing that stupid mass man was accusing me of too. He accused me of liking Chris Brown, thinking that I see him as a very excellent person, and accusing me of liking everything that Chris Brown does. Let me set the record straight for y'all right now, okay? First of all, just because I like Chris Brown doesn't mean I agree with everything he does. Nor any matter that I agree with everything my dad did. If anybody should have been quote unquote hating on Chris Brown, should have been people like me, should be people like Draven. Why? Because Draven and I have came from abusive families too, ourselves. Okay? Rainbow came from abusive family ourselves. I mean, you know, her dad abused her mom, my dad abused my mom and various other things. But you don't hear me going around, you know, caught you know, trying to say something about my father or anything like that. I have forgiven my dad for what he's done to me, what he's done to the family and various things like that. So why am I going to go out and spread the same hatred towards somebody I don't barely even know? You know, I mean, you may think, you, you may think you're doing an easier thing by doing it to a stranger, but in all actuality, Chris Brown is just a reflection of society as it is. He's a reflection of what y'all should not do. Now, Rihanna isn't innocent either. Rihanna has done her shitty things to get herself to the top. Whether she slept with Jay-Z or whatever the case may be, who gives a shit? The bottom line is, you know, and then, and then Jay-Z then talk about he wants to retaliate against Chris Brown and everything. I'm like, give me a break, okay? First of all, I know Jay-Z's a ruthless person, and I'm sure he's tough, he's street and everything, but I guarantee you, a lot of people want to talk about saying that Jay-Z can beat up Chris Brown. I beg to differ, okay? Chris Brown temper and his malevolent side has yet to come out to the fullest people you have yet to see anything yet but not just that but if you but if Jay-Z tries to beat up Chris Brown I think Chris Brown will handle him like nothing because I don't think Jay-Z can touch the malevolence that Chris Brown has I don't think he has enough malevolence to beat up Chris Brown and Chris Brown is big strong and, he, and, and he's a young guy still but you know what else people need to start worrying about? Rather than y'all worrying about Chris Brown throwing chairs and, and having a temper tantrum, y'all should be worrying about people like Gaddafi, people of the world leaders like that. You know why? Because when Gaddafi has a temper, yeah, I'm sure fists and chairs can start flying around. But you know what else start flying? Bullets, bombs, missiles, all kinds of stuff will start flying when leaders like that can start losing their tempers. And y'all worried about Chris Brown? There's so many things to be we could talk about in the world, folks. I'm not trying to downgrade Chris Brown and what he did and everything. Okay, I like the guy. I, you know, he's he's gonna work out his own problems and everything. I'm not trying to downgrade him. I'm just saying there are more important things in this world right now than, than talking about simply Chris Brown, folks. Y'all need to wake up and see through that. Here's here's the thing. Like, uh, there's a lot of idolatry that happens in the United States and it's, it's due to our media and, and like the, the pop star worship that we see and everybody's we're trying to convince everybody that you need to be famous and rich and all that crap when really none of that's important and what's important is community what's really important is community and taking care first you take care of yourself you take care of your own you take care of your family and you take care of your neighborhood and following your neighborhood, your state, your, your country, um, then the world, the planet, it all moves on. You, you think globally and act locally. So it takes, it's a big distraction. Like, honestly, I, I turn up, I don't have, well, for years I didn't have a television. I'm living in a house where there's a big one now. Um, but I rarely sit down. It, it, it's, it's, it's an attention vacuum. It's there to distract you. It's programming. It's television programming, which takes you away from reality. I mean, I have, I have similar opinions about video games. They take you away from reality. They stick you in a little box. 
especially these online multiplayer games, where I'm sure um, tons of people love them. I'm sure they're fun. But guess what? You can have just as much as an adventure outside in your own neighborhood. Mm hmm. Like, leave the city, go to the desert, go to the mountains, go to the ocean, go to the forest. These are places where, where true adventure occurs. And, you know, really, sometimes just walking to school is an adventure in itself for the young people out there. I mean, I've got plenty of those. And that maybe that's due to how rough and tumble your neighborhood is. Maybe, or maybe you live in the suburbs and the only interesting thing that's going on are the fights that your neighbors are having across the street. I'm sorry, that, that's really sad. Like, you gotta get a life and you'll find something else to do. Be productive, people. <laughs> And you know, and speaking of productive, let's let's start talking about because I know you gotta go in about a few minutes. I remember you and I have been talking about the differences between television and the internet TV. Now let's talk more broad briefly about this before you go because I remember you and I had to talk about this before. That as far as the war, um, tell the audience briefly about what's going on between mainstream television versus internet television. Right, and you know what, the thing about it is too, I remember this one brother that um, told me about uh, TV, right? I remember him and I had a discussion, and he even said that even reality TV, people may think it's reality, but it's not reality at all. And actually, if you think about it, the, uh, once you point a camera at something, you already change the dynamic of the reality. Of, of the Saddam statue and all that. 
Oh, yeah. And also now, and then now with the also reality TV shows filling in the gap and everything, you know, I've actually worked in movies and shows where I've actually had actors, you know, coming up, actors who worked in different shows and different um, series. They they were telling me that they it's hard even for them to find jobs or find acting jobs, even harder now now than ever because of the reality TV shows like saturated the damn thing. People start to actually demand real news for once, or real news again, because the only news that mostly Americans are getting now is entertainment, which is so un, which is so not balanced. That is not how the world is totally. It's not about all about Lindsay Lohan, Chris Brown, and all this other stuff. There's other news out there, folks, that y'all need to start waking up to and making a stand about. If you guys want real news, you guys got to make a stand for it too. Yeah. 